morning my loves I'm getting back into schedule this week it's Monday so I'm gonna show you guys my entire week so basically the way that my schedule works is that Mondays and Tuesdays I write scripts and then I record Wednesdays and Thursdays I edit and then get all the graphics ready and all the information ready for everything to post for the following week and Friday mornings I usually work on other projects I have like euphoric or growing alchemy creating new necklaces launching new products so let's get the week started on a good note I'm gonna take my supplements right now and watch some YouTube videos while I do that because it takes me about 10 minutes and I'm gonna have some tea while I write manifestation Monday then it's time for the gym then I'll get ready come record manifestation Monday and you'll see A quick acai bowl. The bowl is really small. It's not that I have so much acai here. It's just a tiny little bowl. Um, it's a really simple one. I just did it with frozen banana acai pulp, um, frozen acai pulp from Trader Joe's. We have gluten free granola, goji berries, um, unsweetened, unsalted peanut butter, raw peanut butter, raw cacao nibs. Inside, I put flaxseed meal and chia seeds and almond milk and a little maple syrup. Okay, so I just recorded a video. I think it's one of my favorites of, as of late. It's all about reprogramming your mind, reprogramming your brain, how to do that. It was inspired by the book I'm reading. I have about an hour and a half before I have to meet Aaron and Victor. We're going to some Mediterranean place that I have not been to, but they wanted Mediterranean food, so I'm gonna check it out. I have Yom Kippur, which is the 25 hour fast tonight so I'm packing up a bag to take with me I'm going home for the night I'm gonna spend the fast with my best friend with Sasa and uh, Danny and then I'll be back home Thursday or Wednesday night 25 hour fast right now no electronics no water no nothing at least I get to read so I'm gonna pack a bag real quick and I'll check in with you guys when I'm with Aaron and Victor look who came to visit me what up Gluten free? Absolutely. Are you going to record us eating? <laughs> yes. Right. It honestly looks so good. So I finished lunch with Victor and Aaron. It was so nice. Such a good restaurant. We went to this Mediterranean restaurant. It was delicious. And then I had to make it home on time, so I had to leave. I just stopped by my grandparents' house to see them, to see how they're doing. And now I'm going to my mom. And from there, I'm going to spend the fast with Sasa and Danny. I'm home, mama's still cooking. I'm gonna go edit a video to post for tomorrow. And let's go see what my brothers are up to. Hey, yo. Hello, my loves. How's it going? Hello, Buddha. Buddha, come here. Come here, why are you hiding from the camera? Hey, honey. Did you miss me? Hello. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Buddha. Hey, E.T. You look so pretty. Thank you, I love you. I was doing a video earlier, which I'm gonna go edit now. You're beautiful. Thumbs up if Nimi's hot. No, stop it. Thumbs up if Nimi's hot. Okay, so I'm sitting down to edit this vlog for you guys for Friday, but I just have to tell you my two manifestation success stories that happened to me today that I found out the results of that I'm so, so happy about. Oh my God, I'm so ecstatic. Okay, so we'll start with one that's like not such a crazy thing, but you know, it's a, it's a bigger deal. So when I first moved into this apartment, I really was antsy to move in and I wanted a new queen mattress and because I was so antsy, I rushed and I just bought one from Sit and Sleep. It was expensive. It was like $1,000 for the mattress, so it was supposed to be a really good one. It turns out that though it was labeled as queen, it's closer in size to a full, which was really um, upsetting to find out because, you know, I already had a full mattress. I could have just used my full mattress. And I was basically stuck with this mattress and I was really unhappy about it. I haven't been sleeping well because I've been so uncomfortable. It's really warm. It's a really, I don't know why, but it like holds on to heat like a lot. And I've never had that with my other mattress. My other mattress is like 15 years old. And I never had a problem with it. I kind of just let it go i was just like you know what i'll get used to it i'll buy a, a a pillow top mattress thing i will live because i'm you know i'm grateful to even have a place to rest my head at night that's amazing 
And then my mom one day was like, why don't you let me try to deal with it? And I don't like to put things in my mom's lap because I feel like she cleans up my messes a lot and I'm trying not to be like that anymore. So for a while, I was like, no, Ema, don't worry. I'll handle it, I'll handle it. But I had just given up and I had accepted it. But last week I went to my mom's and she's like, I'm gonna handle it next week, don't worry. And I just had a good feeling. I was like, okay, go ahead. Like, you could try. What, what do we have to lose at this point, right? And then she told me yesterday that she's gonna call and I was just like, I had a really good feeling. I'm like, thank you, like, I really appreciate it. And by the way, there's no returns to the store. I wanted a full return. I wanted to order a mattress online instead that had been mine that I really wanted. And um, there are no returns. There's a restocking fee and there's exchange only. So I thought, okay, maybe I could find a better bed at sit and sleep but like i really want a refund so i prepped my mom and i was like this is what happened they were rude to me on the phone they didn't help me here they did this they did that and i i was just like and i want a full refund and that's like not something i usually will when i know that there are no refunds i would never ask for a refund i was like i want a full refund i feel like i deserve a full refund we were taken for a ride with this sales salesman who ended up being a nice guy just so everybody's aware he's not a bad guy um my mom just called me and she's like, who do you love? I got you a full refund and they're coming to pick it up, pick up your mattress for free on Monday. So I just ordered the new mattress that I really wanted, which only costs like $100 more and it has free delivery and everything. And it's supposed to be an incredible mattress, the right size. So I'm really excited that I got my mattress. That was a manifestation success for sure because I just kind of visualized my mom telling me like everything's fine and I put it out of my head completely. I got busy with other things. The second thing, my cousin, my amazing older cousin, he is literally the best kid ever. He's an engineer. He's so intelligent, such a good soul, such a sweet human being, super shy, just like would never hurt a fly, you know? He was in Japan with his family this past month and he actually smoked weed, which I don't remember that he does that, but I guess he does. He smoked weed at a club in Japan, which is very illegal in Japan. He was taken to jail and he was in jail for like a week. And it's like this amazing pure soul does not deserve to be in jail. And like, of course the Japanese treated him so well, like their jails even are just spectacular. But um, I wanted to help in any way that I can. So I wrote a letter to the judge on behalf of his parents. And as I was writing the letter, I was visualizing and setting an intention that this would set him free. Now, I, I by no means am taking credit for him being set free, but I did manifest it. Um, the letter was submitted today and I just got the call that he's been released. So thankfully he's going home. I'm so happy. That was a huge deal for us no one in our family has been in jail like it was just like a, a very big deal and we are really worried about him especially right now it's the jewish holidays and he was spending all of them by himself in jail in kyoto so it was really hard on him so i'm so happy he gets to go home yeah that's a little bit personal but i wanted to share it i forgot to record the rest of my day yesterday but at 7 p.m i went to bunda then i came home cleaned up finished cleaning up and doing laundry went to bed pretty early it's like 7 a.m. right now and every morning what I've been doing is I've been opening all the fans and the doors just to get a good flow of energy here and then I've been making setting, setting aside my supplements I decided to only take half of them now and then half of them after food from now on and then I made some tea it's still steeping and I just like to sit here in the morning and read my book a little bit before as I wake up and then I'll meditate a little bit on my new for lunch today, I marinated some tofu and lemon juice, and I'm just gonna make some tofu skewers. I don't have any vegetables I have to order from Milk and Eggs again, um, so I'm just gonna do tofu. I'm thinking to change the way that I eat drastically. I think I want to eat in a more simple way where I don't have to think about it so much every day. I'm thinking whole foods and only a few different foods. If you guys, if any of you eat that way, let me know in the comments below what you recommend. The oven is heated up till 450. I have all my seasonings on there. I just use some seasoning, salt, chili lime seasoning. Oh, I'll put some black pepper on too. And garlic, super simple. And of course it was marinated in lemon juice overnight. I like it really lemony. And then I'm just gonna pop it in there until they look like barbecued. It usually takes like 20 minutes.
Okay guys, I'm just gonna do this face mask and sit down to edit this vlog now, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Big shout out to Sky Love for turning her notifications on. Thank you so much for being part of the notification squad. I see you guys commenting first right when I upload a video. It means so much to me. It really shows that there's so much support there and I really, really appreciate you and I love you. Um, if you have your notifications turned on, comment below and I'll give you a shout out in the next vlog. Thank you for watching guys. Till my next video, keep your vibrations way up.